Wow, that's really boring. Get it? Because it's a boring video. Hi, I'm Stuart McConaughey. And today I'm going to show you how to bore this 6AL4V titanium. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. So I just got done drilling this piece of titanium. We're going to go over boring these beautiful one inch holes that have a tolerance of plus minus five tenths in this rocket part made out of 6AL4V titanium. And I get to show you this awesome Kenna metal boring head that you can control all the way to 80 millionths of an inch. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to set up a boring head. First things first, we have our inserts. I've already installed it to the necessary torque and put it in my bore bar. This bore bar has a minimum diameter and a maximum diameter. The minimum diameter for this particular bore bar is 0.859. The maximum diameter is one inch and 53 thou. So I'm gonna take it and install it in my Kenna metal boring head and then adjust it to the max of its stroke, which will put me at a diameter of one inch and 53 thou. We're gonna bore a one inch diameter hole. So if I set this to its max, which is one inch, 53 thou, all I need to do is adjust my dial and move my boring bar, 53 thou, and I'll be roughly at one inch. Once I have it adjusted roughly to one inch, I'm gonna put it in the machine and I'm actually gonna probe it for length and diameter. So that way I can check that it is at the right size. Once I run it, I'm then gonna check and see how much it's off and then take that number and adjust it into my bore bar to get the perfect size. All right, so now that I have my bore bar in, locked down nice and tight and I have it adjusted roughly to one inch, I'm then gonna put it in the machine, probe it and double check that it's one inch. All right, so we're pretty close. I'm gonna make a couple adjustments to get it right at one inch, and then we'll run our part. So we ran our bore bar. Our hole is two thou and two tenths under. So I'm gonna show you how to adjust this kennel metal boring head. First things first, we have our set screw on the side. This is what locks the boring head to make sure that it doesn't move when we're in the middle of boring. So all we need to do is unlock it So once it's unlocked, then we can go to our dial. So let me explain the dial. Each deviation or each line represents four tenths. The deviation is the distance from one line to the next. So in between that deviation is this measurement. So this is a veneer scale. And this represents 80 millionths, which equals four tenths. And this is for fine adjustment. So now I'm gonna move it five and a half lines. This is gonna represent two thou and two tenths. And there you go. We've adjusted it exactly two thou and two tenths. So now that we have it adjusted, all we need to do is tighten the locking screw and we'll be ready to board. So 
So we've just ran our bore bar. Now I'm gonna check it. The best way to check any bored hole is a Deltronic pin. So it's super accurate. So these are our Deltronic pins. There's 25 pins in each set. Right in the middle is our center pin, which is our standard. This is exactly one inch. We have 12 pins that run up in one tenth increments. So we have one inch and one tenth, one inch and two tenths, and so on and so forth, all the way up to one inch, one thou, two tenths. The exact same thing is on the other side where we have 12 pins that run down from one inch. This being one tenth smaller and this one being two tenths smaller, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down. And now I'm gonna check it with this one inch Deltronic. We're gonna see where it is. You can feel it start to go in. You can even, look at that. The air is trapped under it. So you can see it goes all the way down. It doesn't stop, it doesn't hang up. That's how we know that the hole is straight, no taper all the way down. There's air trapped under it. It bounces as a beautiful fit. This is exactly what we want. That's a perfect sound. So now that we checked it with the one inch Deltronic pin, we're gonna pull up our no-go pin. This is a one inch and two tenths pin. It's exactly two tenths bigger than our go. Nothing, doesn't even start. And that's what we want. We want it to just completely not even want to try to go. That's how we know that it is exactly one inch. And that is how you bore a beautiful one inch hole in 6AL4V titanium.